stuff for the concert later. Come on. Does this classify as classic music now? I think you got to wear a hat like this. Nope. Right, we, have 700. <laughs> we have almost 800 people in the game. Let's do it. All right, we'll, get, we'll go ahead and get the game going. I hope you're ready. We're going to do some trivia. No. All right. Well, hey, welcome to one and a virtual bash trivia. I'm your host, Mike Paez from Fortinet. With me is the man, Jimmy Easy E from Marvel. Jimmy, say hostess a little something. The, hey, Paez, you're the hostess with the mostest. I'll tell you, this is another adventure, the biggest one we've done. I'm more excited than ever. I mean, you're just getting better with age, Paez. Let's put let's put it to the pencil here. Like a fine <laughs> glass of milk. I, I age perfectly. Well, let's go ahead and get it going, y'all. All uh, right. Well, hey, let's just let's, let's do some of the ground rules. What are the rules? Well, the faster you answer, the higher your score. And some questions are going to be worth double points. And there's going to be some video clips with some questions based off the video. So stay tuned. What, what are they going to win, Jimmy? Tell them. Make sure they lock in correctly. We'll get all that straight now, by it. Keep oh, yeah, it going. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get, we'll first keep it going. Yet. That's right. But this, in this economy, I'm making a hail. <laughs> Uh, I'm not that irresponsible now. All right, well, we have time. You can still join while we're playing. So if you're if you're running late, we have plenty of time. Jimmy, are you ready? I'm ready. I broke out the 2019 Battle of the Bands shirt for this one, guys. It's going to end up giveaway. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to trivia. Right. All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. What year was Dell founded? Is it 1984, 1979, 88, or 90? Remember well. Look at those glasses. Oh, my, my note must better. <laughs> so, I shouldn't throw shade. No. Technology's come a long way. Technology. <laughs> Look at that one. 84 is it. That's right. It's a fine year. That's when I was born. Oh, I'm so old. All right, let's keep it going. What is the only food that cannot go bad? Speaking of, uh, of milk, is it milk, dark chocolate, honey, or canned tuna? That can't go bad. I mean... Twink Twinkie's not on there. Mm -mm. I think I know this one too, Pius. But... Is it, is it milk? I don't want to give it away, but I eat a lot of this. <laughs> that's why. That's why I'm round, round like two there, you know. <laughs> that's right. I didn't know this one, but it was honey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I don't you know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you didn't read the questions for me. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, here it is. Which queen proclaimed let them eat cake? Was it Queen Antoinette, Queen Kardashian, Queen Elizabeth, or Queen Margaret? The last thing you need, me need, me need more cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, after, after these last few years of like, like COVID, COVID 50 now. Queen Antoinette, Queen Antoinette, 37 oh. of y'all thought Queen Kardashian said that. Right? Kardashian was in yeah, there, it's, yeah. It's not too That's far off, but, right. yeah. but yeah, everyone else. Him. Stop it. Get some help. Well, let's go ahead and get some help and send it over to the studio. It's football season, y'all. And we're going to go ahead and see how we're doing on the leaderboard. Oh my goodness, up top we got Alan Peterson, absolutely on best control. 6,400 bones, Jimbo. Hayes is, is battling for, for three. I think that we we got a long way to go, Pies. We, we do, as, as could be anyone's game, but you know what? It's a, 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 a combo breaker because 11 players just dropped from their answer streak of five. All right, well, let's keep it going. All right, look at the story time. It's safe to say that most of us know what IOT means by now, right? But have you ever heard of IIOT? <laughs> what about OT? <laughs> I know, it's like whoever comes up with these acronyms only knows a handful of letters, but it's important to understand the difference between IT and OT because they get mixed up often. I mean, even I've gotten the definitions mixed up more often than I like to admit. Here's an easy way to remember the difference. OT controls equipment and IT controls data. 
specifically IT ensures confidentiality, integrity, and the availability of systems and data. Whereas operational technology performs a wide variety of tasks ranging from monitoring critical infrastructure to controlling robots on a manufacturing floor. Now these are networks that historically haven't been connected to the internet before. And without a good security posture, we will continue to see breaches like the Colonial Pipeline last year. And as more and more organizations adopt IoT, 5G, and the cloud, that likeliness is only going to go up. All right, let's see if you're paying attention. True or false, a security posture is a measure of how well an organization can withstand a cyber attack. Mm. Very, very interesting. Security posture is a measure of how well an organization can withstand a cyber attack. The answer is correct. Oh, wow. That's huge. Oh, my goodness. I can keep my job. All right. right. Let's keep this good feeling going, Jimmy. No need Next for a chiropractor. <laughs> no, at all. <laughs> pop this one. On average, how many seeds are located on the outside of a strawberry? And this is a fun time to say when I did not make these questions up. <laughs> just completely random. Nah, nah. You can lose weight even just count the seeds. Ha, ha, ha. Classic comedy. <laughs> Nailed it, Jimmy. On average, how many seeds are located? They do a snapshot of that. That's probably 50. Let's see what Times we got. four is the math. It is 200. <laughs> 200 is the right answer. Not enough people got that one correct. But you know what? We still have some time. In, in, in which 90s movie did Colonel, Colonel Nathan R. Jessup say, you can't handle the truth? Is it A Few Good Men, The Wolf, As Good As It Gets, or Platoon? I thought it was trying to say, here's Pius. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong show, Pius. <laughs> a, f- a few good men is the right answer. Uh, 606 people got that one correct. Good job. Next up, which version of Absolute gets you pay? Is it visibility, resilience, control? Or is it all of the above? Is it going to be all of the above this time? Just give it away, Pius. Give it away, give it away now. You're simply the best. You guys are simply the best. Better than all the rest. 709 of y'all got that one correct. Good job. All right. Which soda brand has been been around longest? Is it Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, or Tab? Patrick say the top 750 get get 100, right? Yeah. Jimmy's going to pay it directly. Just hit him up. (laughs) (laughs) It's Dr. Pepper. Is the right answer? No, God. Oh, goodness no, gracious. God, it is. Please, no, no. Yeah, it is Dr. Pepper. No. If you never had Dr. Pepper no! before, <laughs> it's like drinking uh, root beer with cigarette butts in it. All right. <laughs> it's gross. All right. Which engine, don't at me, which engine was not a stock option in the 1980 Corvette? L82, LG4, L48, or L90? <laughs> Well, I know, bad. I know these questions. Uh, this is tough. This is yeah. <laughs> it's a I'm tough a one. Guy and I don't know this answer. I, I do now, but yeah. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Let's see what we got. The answer is L90. Mm. L90. Bruh. All right. Well, let's get this. Is probably the last obscure question, I think. True or false? ISR slash TSRs are paid 100% on Fortinet products. If, you're, if this question seems hard, just think, why would I put, why would I put it in if it wasn't? Positive. He wouldn't. He wouldn't be here. I would. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Wouldn't but I, I might though. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? I am a scamp. Yes. Moonlighter. <laughs> Let's see. We got All right. three. Two, we got. I think got three people balls, that got guys. that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. It is oh, true. Yeah. Let's pay the core four. All right, let's keep it going. I think this is, yeah, story time. Ooh, juice at the Adapter Supply House down at the corner of Dell and Marvell. We're going crazy. Prices are so low, it should be a crime. Are you kidding me over here? Now on the 32 gig fiber channel Q Logic adapters, we're slicing prices so deep that you'd be, think you'd be swimming with the fishes. These cards are fully stocked with dual port isolation, NVMe support, and congestion management, all at no cost. Low pro, full high cards, forget about it. We got it all. So come see me, Jimmy the Juice, today. Because we're going to make you 
All right, Jimmy, let's see if we can get you, get you a good one here. Which of the following is not a reason why customers choose Marvell over the competition? Is it dual port isolation, NVMe support, or congestion management? Our single port in isolation. It's not that one. I put my lucky hat on there, cowboy. <laughs> partner? <laughs> partner? What's up, partner? Hold up, partner. Oh, gosh. What did we pick? Okay, here you are. That's funny right there. It is single port isolation was the right answer. It is not part of it. Everyone else says it's a very confusing question for Matt. It but. was. Thanks for making it tough on them. But I like the results, Pius. I'll take that any day. That was a trick, trick question. Oh, well, <laughs> confusing. Not nothing very trick. confusing. But you know what? Hey, <laughs> everyone's making my dream come true because they got that one right. Let's keep it going. What generation of the Intel processors are we in? Is it 12th, 2nd, 21st, or 2nd? Justin choosing Pepto-Bismol for congestion management. <laughs> Zing! That was for you there, Justin. That was a very good mm-hmm. joke. Best of, better than we've done. 12th. <laughs> That's right. We are in the 12th generation of the Intel processor. All right. I don't have any good jokes for that one. That's right. Almost game over. Let's go ahead and look at the leaderboard and see how we're doing. All right. Let's see here. Up top, we have Melissa out of nowhere with 22,000 points, Jimmy. I'll tell you, it's not over till it's over, Pius. Wilson can make a run for it. It's not just right. castaways that win this thing. Come on. That's why right. Eddie's saying, everyone, wake up. We don't like it here. He's in fifth place. He wants to move up to first. All right, but you know what? Hey, don't don't count out Huntley because they are in the hunt for the first place. Let's see. Remember, top 75, walk away with 100 bones. One bit of story time. This is Homer Last bit. by Fortinet. So, so you may be wondering, what does this do exactly? Well, the best way for me to explain it in a very overly simplified Pick way it. It is to think of it as a router and a firewall kind of meshed into one. This baby supports both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz for your smart devices. And you can connect your computer or anything else directly into the ports in the back. And if you get more than one, you can connect them together in a Wi-Fi mesh that extends gigabit speeds to parts of the house that may have had poor signal before. And if you look at the box, it says it's compatible with Zoom, which means that it can give quality of service to applications like Zoom, WebEx, and more. And all comes in this awesome box with the early 2000s emo MySpace angles you get going on here. But let's not judge a book by its cover. <laughs> we all know it's what's in the inside that counts. So let's take a look. And so right when we open the box, we're greeted with the QR code that directs us to an app for setup. Now this is what I use to set everything up and it was super easy. It took me like less than five minutes from beginning to end. If you'd like to see a more detailed setup guide, let me know down in the comments below. But for now, let's get to the fun part and get everything out of the box and see how this baby works. And the Linksys Homework app can be used to extend enterprise level security to your home network with the click of a button. You're not seeing things, it's that easy. Here's an example of me trying to access a website that's known for testing malware. So basically, think of it as enterprise-grade cybersecurity that your customers can send to their employees when they're working from home. All right, let's see if you're paying attention. True or false, Linksys homework secured by Fortinet gives quality of control with Zoom, Teams, and much more. And, and, and thank you so much for the person that called me the male version of iJustine. It made my it made my year. Thank you the so chance, much. The chance for blowing up, man. That was that was a nice story time. I'll tell you. Thank you, thank you, Linda. What, yeah, Linda. That's right. That's correct. Good job. All right. I meant to press that one. Not another one. All right. Here we go. Ready? You clear my throat for this one. <clears throat> Finish this line. I feel the need, the need for a higher quota, food, speed, or air. Only anybody wants it. <laughs> Who's gonna vote for a higher quota? So that's the big one. Twenty. Oh my goodness. Speed. Oh, Sean, we got twenty-four people that needs a higher quota. So <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. the need for a higher quota. Oh. Uh, been there. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, here we got one more question here. What was a call sign nickname for Tom Cruise's character in Top Gun, y'all? Oh. Iceman, Maverick, Goose, or Stinger? Is it the, the goose? The juice is the goose is juice. How about the couch potato jumper? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Where are you going with this part? I don't know. It's Maverick is the right answer. Jimmy, you're, you're, you're so funny. All right. Good job, everyone. Well, everyone, thank you so much for playing along. It was a blast. Let's take it home. And let's see who's walking away with the top three with bragging rights. All right, here we go. In third place with 28,000 points, it's Darren Wendman. In second, it's Robbie Bell with 28,000. And in first place, it's my, it's, it's your girl, Meredith, right? I hope so. W with 29,000, 48, 20 out of 23. Woo! Give, a, give him a round of applause, y'all. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. Now let's go through the top 20, 75. No. All right. That's, that's yeah, all right. for me. That's all for Jimmy. Thank you so much for playing along. I hope you enjoy the video a little bit later. Great job for people who, uh, who played. And until next time, good night and good game.